Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, do research and development in the science department on a paradise station for today. Hello, and, uh, welcome to yeah. NSS. That just started the round so the AI is just uh, talking there. Yeah, we'll just wait here. Alright, so first thing you start off with is um, this little room here and uh, what you got right here is the destructive analyzer. You put stuff in there and it um, deconstructs to get levels. Um, this is the protoloth, uh, which creates things. So I'm going to put some material in here and uh, some metal and glass. And would you look at that? And um, yeah, so you're going to click on this console here. And um, I'm going to show you how, to, how I do it to get to five on all these levels. And then I'll tell you how to get max levels after that. But um, this might not be the most effective method, but this is how I do it. So um, there's a few things in the little room that you can use to get some early levels. So this little battery here on the table um, can get you level two power, which is nice. And then you just deconstruct it and that levels you up. One thing uh, to really notice is um, you can use the same. Well, I'll show you here. My current level is one. And if I put a level one material, and it it gives me two <laughs> so it's a bit um, oh we got some nice items here thank you station crew so as you look at it, it's level two now even though I used a level one material well so yeah we'll just use that that has a combat system um, but um since if you didn't get that um, a toolbox I think a crowbar maybe as well but a toolbox will also get you to um, combat system too as well as engineering so after that, um, let's just get power up here. So basically, you just go down the list here for power levels. Would you look at that? 2-2, two, two, and it gives me level 3 research um, for power. So um, One thing I highly suggest um, when you're doing these is to s go to um, settings here. Hit sync database to network, because when that happens, uh, it goes to all the... What the heck's going on there? Um, goes to all the uh, robotics, all the other machines that are in research. So, yeah, and um, so we can't um, level up power anymore currently. It's uh, need at the other levels here. Engine is on good top. Engineering. And uh, the quickest way to get um, data theory and engineering levels up is to go to computer parts and go to. Uh, the disk drives. You just um, keep adding the new one in and it will uh, slowly go up to level 5. So we're just going to do that here. Uh, here we go. Advanced hard disk drive. And then 2-2. Uh, two, two. Give me 3 on each. And then you go to super hard disk drive. And this is very it's kind of difficult. I when I uh, started research, I had a um, difficult time learning how to do this. It was mostly just muscle memory because the Wikipedia is a bit uh, overabundant on items, and it's kind of hard to figure out if they will work on the current version because it seems like the last time I checked, it was extremely outdated. So, and um, yeah, that's engineering five. That's the max we can get currently without um, other items. So um, we're gonna start uh, get blue space here now. So. Uh, just hit blue space, go to tracking beacon, and uh, just deconstruct that one. <clears throat> yeah, these first starting levels are pretty easy to figure out, but once we get a little bit in, I'll show you guys how to um, hopefully get max. I'm just going to tell you guys because I don't know how long it will take for me to get those, so I don't want to make this video extremely long. And um, yeah, so... Um, we can't get that because we need 500 silver. Um, one of the main uh, ingredients that you need is for mining, and mining uh, will deposit materials into their machine, and then you can go pick them up. So, yeah. And uh, next thing we need is plasma research. Um, easy way to get level two plasma is to just deconstruct a welding tool, and then you can uh, just make the other stuff here for now. So, um, in order to get uh, plasma 3, 
you need to go to the Regredient Scanner and under the Medical tab. And uh, yeah, it will give you Electromagnetic, Plasma, and Biological. So that's nice. Then after this, you have to get the Medical uh, level higher. So click this one. It's the cheapest, basically. It's the Health Analyzer Upgrade. You click on this, deconstruct it, and uh, you get Biological 3. And we can't upgrade that yet, so we have to go to Stock Parts, Advanced Scanning Module. What's this? No, that doesn't help. Um, advanced Scanning Module under the Stock Parts tab. And that will give us Electromagnetic Spectrum Research to 4. And then we can go back to the Medical and go to go to Advanced Regredient Scanner. And this will get our plasma back up to higher levels. Yep, and um, we're doing pretty good here. These are some pretty okay levels for right now. And um, what we want is next to get materials up to four. So you pick a advanced um, advanced matter bin here. Yeah, one thing you're going to find out when you're playing this is that a lot of people ask things of you. So four and wow, thank you. Okay, I'll get into this later. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we're gonna sync to help uh, the robotics with their levels. And now we're gonna, uh, I think we're gonna do, let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna do power and hit super capacity cell. <laughs> That'll give us a level four power. And then this is, uh, we're almost there actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the part where we go down to medical and pick welding shield implant. This will get you to material five. And uh, yep, so you're at max level for materials, which is very nice. And um, this is where you go into the circuit input in printer, sorry, menu. And uh, engineering, you're able to get two level five levels. So you go to engineering, and the first thing you want to hit is power turbine board. This will get you level 5 power. So you deconstruct that, level 5 power, easy. And then go back to engineering and hit the Mr. Spay Spackman type generator. Hit that, deconstruct it, and then you have level 5 plasma. So what we're missing here from level 5 is blue space, biological, I, you can't get that without a brain or a heart, so I'm not even going to try to get level 5. And uh, I don't have any legal things to deconstruct, so what we're going to do is go to computer boards. Let's see right here. Scroll down until you find a teleporter console. Hit that, deconstruct that. That'll get you blue space level 4. And then you're going to go to circuit input menu again. Go to teleportation machinery and then go to teleport station. And that'll give you level 5 blue space, which is very nice. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to do combat currently because I need to, one thing you have to do in research upgrade is to upgrade. <laughs> so in order to upgrade your machines and basically all the other machines, you have to hit the rapid part exchange device, which requires a lot of materials. So I'm going to restock. And um, you can click on a machine and it will tell you what it has. So down here on the right, it has a matter bin, micro manipulator. This thing has scanning, micro, micro laser. And yeah, so I'm going to pick our best stuff here. It takes a little bit because it's not upgraded, so it's taking a little while here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to pick all these four things. You're going to need matter bins, pico, manipulators, high power micro laser, and advanced scanning module. Hit that. And then you're going to have to use a screwdriver. And you're going to click, 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 and it opens it. Then just click, click, click with your uh, RPS, and then re-screwdriver them all. And that's kind of weird. Why is it um, not blue anymore? So you go to Settings, Device Linkage Menu, 
hit resync with nearby devices. And um, yeah, so that, what I just did was make everything quicker. And um, yeah, so we're going to go to weapons now. And it requires less, um, <laughs> yeah, security HUD, yeah. This will give us um, combat 3, I believe. Oops. Still have this syringe. <laughs> Screwdriver, sorry. And then we're going to um, go to weapons. Large grenade, yeah. And um, the reason why I upgraded this before doing weapons is that they require a lot of materials. And once you upgrade your... Um, <laughs> your machines, it requires less material to uh, make things. So it saves you material and since um, uh, since uh, we don't have much materials here, it's good to uh, keep them on. So uh, yeah, currently we have um, level 5 on everything so um, I'm gonna tell you guys a bit on how to get level um, 7 on each thing so oh what's going on here ooh cybernetic hearts okay so that's how you get to level 5 <laughs> nice level 6 I did not know that well I learned something here making this video <laughs> that's basically new it's a new thing so that, that um, slime person dropped off a charged um, slime core here. So, um, this thing gives you, let's see here, power manipulation 6. So what that does is increases the 6 and it unlocks new things, but we need more materials to make it, so we kind of need uh, mining to do the job. But in order to get materials 7, you can use 1 uranium and 1 diamond to uh, get level 7, so that's what you need. And um, from blue space uh, to level 7, you're going to need blue space crystals from mining. What's going on here? Looks like he's making hydroponics. I'll wait for him to get done. <coughs> um, engineering, you're going to need uh, either um, a jetpack from mining vendors that they get from points, or you can... Uh, ask cargo to buy you some machine prototype crates and to get plasma 6 and 7 you're gonna either need uh, a Lazarus injector I believe uh, yeah or um, a phase on torso from robotics so that will give you that um, combat you can get a, a chain of command from the captain if he's willing to give it up um, data theory seven. Uh, you're gonna need a drone AI upgrade for mining. As you can see, there's a lot of things we need for mining to get to level seven. So, and um, let's see here. What have I missed? Power manipulation seven. Uh, I don't think you can. Honestly, can't remember. But um, yeah. So um, I'm gonna go around right now and just start upgrading things. <laughs> So basically, you can upgrade med bay, um, cargo, and botany and kitchen. And um, botany, um, botany can actually give you a lot of um, neat, useful items. This is xenobiology, by the way. Just slimes. That's a different video. And um, so they can give you um, death nettle. That's another way to get combat seven. Um, glow caps, I think it's red glow caps, can give you plasma 7 or 6. And yeah, doesn't seem we have very um, skilled, I guess, experienced botanies, so I don't think we're going to have that going here. And uh, I'm just going to head to med bay here. Um, one thing I really emphasize is upgrading med bay because. Without these upgrades, they kind of suck <laughs> and rely on chemistry really bad. So I'm just screwdriving using the rapid parts that I have inside here. And um, just clicking on these things. Yeah, cloning, it'll go faster if I upgrade. And uh, if I upgrade it, um, 
high enough with even more better parts. Uh, you can actually auto-clone, so if you die and get your uh, cloning thing scanned in there, you'll just keep cloning in, until they re uh, remove you from the list, so it's pretty great for Antex if they get murdered or something, so if you ever think about doing that, try to get yourself cloned for the high-powered cloning machine. And um, this is a very important part of research and development. It's called the Ore Redemption Machine. So I'm going to upgrade it. So yeah, all those four things I got earlier in the video, just about upgrade everything. So if you um, keep getting those higher um, tiers of those items, you should be able to upgrade just about everything on the station. So, And um, this thing is where the miners drop their ore, and the ore is created into... Um, ingots or sheets I think yeah that's what it is so they drop their um, ore off here creates those sheets and they get points which are used to buy stuff or get you guys some levels and research so then you take these items sadly there's no miners yet but we'll take it and then go to research put it in our machines and uh, are able to make a lot more useful items for the station so I believe this is um, it. Um, if you guys want me to post like a, like in the description, like a list of what uh, you need to get to level fives and maybe sevens, uh, just let me know and I'll add that down. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. I guess, boom, flip, dude. <laughs>